Let's talk a little bit about theory. Now you play guitar and you talked about your roommate um, kind of helping you with the theory and, and that was something that excited you. How did that theory make you a better harmonica player? I was curious about the difference of two harmonicas when I was first going. I would blow on the note and I'd find where that note was here and then I wanted to know why there were differences and what made it different. And the major scale, do, re, mi, ba, so, do, do, I got a passage, I understand that which was important if I was going to play in different positions, how far away were notes from each other? Mm -hmm. It's one fret on the guitar or one piano key on the piano. And why and what does that mean? It was a curiousness. How I use learning it, and so then I would take the basic fundamentals of college, then I took theory one and, and jazz fundamentals. That was about all I really took in theory. Then the rest is just getting some music and mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. I think a theory is a, a not a good topic to bring up. I don't think it's very smart. I don't teach theory in any kind of way. I used to add it in there. It's just a can of worms and a nightmare, yeah. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It puts things on the brain that go overload, and you lose people. So what I say to people that are interested in that is don't ask questions about it. Just go. If you want to really want to know, go take basic fundamentals of music at a community college. You'll get, rather than paying someone like me, I'm 75 bucks an hour, you know, you better just go get somebody else. Go you know, pay 200 bucks for the semester and get a bunch of classes. Mm -hmm. um, I shouldn't say that, though. Come visit me on, like, <laughs> we on Skype and <laughs> take a block. Huh? <laughs> but not do theory. You're not doing yourself a favor. Don't do that. It'll so just confuse the issue. I don't do any of that. You know, I, I, but I think it's a good thing to know. But what you want to do is you just want to get basic fundamentals. The, it's music 10. Let's say music 101 might be the beginning of theory. But 10 is the fundamentals. Do, re, mi, ba, la, do, do. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. You know, with the pattern of what's going on there. And understand that and then kind of get that whole picture. That's enough. That will be usable for harmonica. You can go farther. You can do stuff like get into some jazz things and just theory one, two, and three, but just music 10 is enough. And it helps a great deal. Where it really helps is in the idea of, of music, not in the feeling or the hearing or the playing or listening and playing, which is really the best, and getting in the creativity flow, playing what you hear. But playing what you think is a different thing. It's usually not as good. When I'm thinking, I'm not playing as good, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. When I listen to recordings and I know where I was thinking, where I wasn't. I'm not playing from my heart. I mean, I've done studies. I played at Applebee's for three years on the patio. Why they hired me, I don't know. I was sort of wallpaper, but I, I did uh, have some fun with it. And I did studies because here was this gig from October to March to October every year for three years. You know, and I would do things like playing notes, playing a note and not thinking much. Then playing a note and just thinking from my heart, and especially with kids, so I see a little kid there, and just feel this note. I'm just doing one little note, it's nothing, it's just. But even my eyes would be kind of like a, an actor in, a, in an emotional scene a, or whatever. But what I'm putting on my spirit or on my soul yeah. is an emotion, mm -hmm. a love, a joy or a happiness or a funniness, but something. And just the same note. And then I would do it with nothing, but it was the same note. And I would watch reactions. So it was like a survey. Yeah. Playing from the heart and playing from the mind. Uh -huh. And I think, I can tell the difference. I'm convinced. I don't know if I could ever prove it. I'm convinced, though. And when I'm playing from my mind, I'm not playing as good. And what I mean by playing as good is connecting with people. Mm -hmm. To me, it's the highest tier. I, I have a riff. <laughs> One way, and then the other way is blow three every time. It's kind of his breathing weirdness, mm -hmm. you know, going in and out. It's not natural, mm -hmm. and it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten much applause, maybe from a harp player listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They go, but yeah. I'm not really, yeah, or something. 
I'm not really moving people. I just do it for me. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. But one note, feeling. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, to me, the highest tier is connecting. Uh, I put songwriting way up high. Um, what do we do with what would we do without the music, the songs? Mm-hmm. Connecting, I can't do more, in my opinion, to, than connecting with people. I can do it again, but I can't get higher. I can just do it again. Mm-hmm. And so theory and playing from the mind, I, I don't think when I'm doing that that I'm connecting as much. Mm-hmm. Someone said, I go to entertainment and go out and music be entertained, not to be impressed. Said, wow, that's kind of interesting. I can be impressed, but that maybe not necessarily why I'm there. Or if I go to a movie or go to, it's kind of entertainment. And I thought that was good because I think when I'm playing from my mind, if I have a crowd of people here, I'm going to play from my mind. I might do it for a second and I'll be technical and I'm going to try and blow your mind right now with, look at this is an, kind of an unbelievable thing. And I'll pick something that I know it is. I mean, it's not, oh my God, <laughs> this is not easy. And do it. And it's okay, you know, I've got somebody in there listening for that, but I'm not going to sell any records. I'm not going to sell a bunch of CDs because of that. I'm going to sell a bunch of CDs all of a sudden. If I play a song that I wrote, and it came from my heart, and it, it really did, it came right out of me. They're going to, all of a sudden, I'm going to see people walking over there and putting money and getting the CD right then. Mm-hmm. And nothing complex or big deal, just something from my heart. So, theory is a leery. <laughs> Be leery with theory. Uh, but what it does do is... If I want to technically think about a new chord that happened, and there's a third, or the, hello, 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 there's the chord. In the three studios, you know, I always use that. Root, third, fifth. Well, what's the chord? What are the notes that all of a sudden are playing? Well, most of the time you're playing and you just hear it and you play it and hear it, but what if I'm not hearing it? Or that? Then it's, uh, it's helpful to just know well, what the note is there. It might be an overblow, or it might just be a bend. It's not in the regular scheme. And then I try that. It goes to the two and all the time. <laughs> and I'm bending draw four, and that's the third of this new chord. Mm-hmm. And now it's a note that's out of what I've been playing, or only using as a passing tone, but it's a root note. So I'll make sure I emphasize that. Mm-hmm. And I did that with a thought, not a feeling. I, I didn't, uh, I just did it, and here's the chord. And I'm playing that. So now how do I incorporate that into my playing? By practicing it, where's the one, three, five, flat seven, or one, three, five, seven of each chord here, and playing them and doing it. And then it comes out in and, and a playing, because I'll hear it and feel it, and I had already muscle memoried it. Now when I can play it with from my heart, then it's a whole other thing. But I learned it from my mind. That's where I think theory helps. Is that, is that you understand what yeah. I'm saying? Okay, because okay. Okay. That, that, I think, helped. I tried something that I wouldn't have necessarily just found and totally by theory and mathematical logic, and then I tried it and tried to make it where it became feeling. And that has been a huge gift, theory, in that way. Stuff I would have never tried or thought of, I don't think so. I got to it real fast. I mean, 10 years before it might have come. 